This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Grafton Apple Festival, peacefulassemblychurch.org. All right, standing here with Kurt from Michigan, uh, who is a free stater, uh, you know, possibly going to move here at some point. Certainly He's trying, that's for sure. Definitely been loyal in terms of coming to all the events that we have, um, or a lot of the, the well, events. Pork fest for sure. Yeah. And uh, you're always a good idea, man. I like to, uh, when I sit down and talk to you, I always get an idea for a video. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I guess uh, I'm you know, honored. The first one was four <laughs> years ago when we were talking about the importance of, you know, uh, uh, the uh, the idea of how to do property tax Right, systems. right. But now uh, you have some ideas about uh, networks for rapid communication. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's, it's more of a, not so much of an idea insofar as how to get it done, just an overall premise of an early warning system. This shows like a kitchen thing here or something? Is that the kitchen? Where, you know, you if you're being raided for tax purposes or for any any reason of, and of for nonviolence, uh, that you could have your neighbors actually react immediately um, if you congregate in the same area. You know, like say for instance in New Hampshire with the Free State Project. But um, this way, you can actually have your neighbors outdoors while it's happening, filming right up to YouTube and you know showing the world. I mean, I'm really not in a position to make it all happen. I would like to, but it's just, like I said, well, once I get here, yeah, when you get <laughs> maybe. Here, yeah, it wouldn't be too many steps to get from just thinking about it to having yeah. it be a reality. Well, it's enough getting a saturation enough in a particular area, you know, to, of people who are willing to put this at, at risk. Yeah. Because well, it is a risk. I think that exists in Manchester and Keene right now. Mm hmm. Well, in mm. terms of the numbers. And it will, by the time you're here, it'll be more, probably. Indeed, indeed. Well, my wife is step by step. Step by step. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, how do you think, you know, what do you think are some details of how this works? Like, give me a scenario of how it might play out. Maybe like a, a sh I don't know if it would be a shortwave on a specific channel or a walkie-talkie, something that would be loud enough to squawk and wake you up in the middle of the night because, I mean, the fact is that's probably when you're going to get hit. Um, unless they're keeping track on your work schedule and, you know, seize your house when you're away. I mean, who knows? But at, at any time you could, you know, call on them for their assistance. They would, you know, again, voluntarily pledge their assistance to you in exchange for your assurance of your assistance oh. in the event that they, you know, uh, come across the same situation. Yeah. Now, obviously, you just can't get up and leave work, but... You know, you know, if you get enough people to do so, you can have, and a, and a quarter of them can show up at any given time. I mean, I'd wake up from my neighbor. I may not leave work, depending on what my boss is like. If I have a liberty-oriented boss, I mean, I would I would give up the wages gladly uh, for for the time lost. But um, you know, I wouldn't expect anyone to put their livelihood on the on the the line for it. But I mean, to put up a little, give up a little sleep, wake me up out of a sound sleep to do that. I'd absolutely do that for my neighbors. So a key difference between this and what we have now with Porcupine Four. On one dot com would be uh, that you can get woken up in the middle of the night by it if you choose. Right. Uh, we don't have that with four one one. What are we another difference? Well, well, I guess you could set up a, a notification on your four one one to to ring. You know, if you choose to do so, maybe you could set up a system like that. You know, very oh, much like that or dedicated. Right. Right. But then, then that. You know, but Michael Hampton's got a great system already set up, you know. Like your system in the sense that it would be, like, independent of the Internet. Right. It would, yeah, you could do it with radio. That would also, yep. Yeah. I hope it hits your car. What are you saying? That, it, that would be a... <laughs> that would be a... a <laughs> With a, 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 you know, like if you did a, a handheld radio type of deal, maybe a short wave through a couple of miles, you know, that's why that's why you almost have Manchester, you know, would, might be a little too big for this idea because you might not be able to get the radio reach, you know. Uh, but if you had if you if you had enough people in your area, then they could make phone calls at that point once once their radio system woke them up in, in an area that was germane to them yeah. and, and they're you know and then the authorities would have a choice they let the raid go on for hours as normal or they have to rush it in order to keep, keep from being on all these cameras right right yeah. or they have to physically accost the camera you know and if and with quick i mean it's going to be all the way up to the camera slamming the ground that it's going to be on youtube at that point physically accost the camera in new hampshire no <laughs> yeah, let's let's no, well, let's I hope it doesn't get so. to that yeah, let's hope it doesn't get to that but but the state in its flailing last you know the last uh, 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 gasps. You never know what it's going to be like a wild there animal. Will be a brief period of time where things are a little crazy. Yep. Probably yep. the currency collapses. Let's hope. Let's hope uh, we see a smooth transition and we show a way of peace. You know, and and, and voluntarism. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Kurt. Can't wait to see you do some of this. Thank you. All right.
Don't miss this year's Grafton Apple Festival, Sunday, September 30th. Bring a few apples, hang with New Hampshire Freedom Folk, and crank a vintage cider press. Details are at Peaceful Assembly Church. <laughs>